right guys what is going on and welcome back to the channel we are back with another video i know it's been a while i just man i've been super busy so i'm so sorry i haven't guys i haven't put out a video or any updates or anything like that i made a few trips around and linked up with a few people and i think i figured out well we figured out um to a certain extent the supra um i definitely needed help being new so new to the platform um there was no way that I was gonna be able to do it alone. Um, so we got it figured out to hold about 20 PSI out. So I'm just on the dyno to actually get numbers. That way I can uh, provide tunes for people that wanna get tuned. So right now I am at Rev Work in Orlando, uh, Florida, and they're allowing me to use the dyno, which is an all wheel drive dyno. I just have it in two wheel drive mode. And we are currently um, dyno tuning it. So right now I have 93 in the tank. I filled up to about a uh, full tank on 93. Um, and then I have E in the back seat back there in that yellow jug. And we are going to tune it on E. That way I can get some E30 numbers also. Um, depending on time and fuel, um, I'm going to see if I can uh, get a little bit more than 20 PSI. But we'll see. Um, the car's been really well. I mean, the car takes a lot of abuse, guys. Like, I see a lot of people posting up saying, oh, well, I don't want to abuse the car. I've done about 90 track passes, which, by the way, I think that's more than most sh or any shop. Um, I've just, I, I would hot lap the car. So I'd go over to the fast lane and then I would go over to the normal car lane and I would just hot lap the car. I've done about 90 track passes in this car, guys. I've done about, in the last three weeks, I've done about 200 fourth gear pulls on the street because I just didn't want to come out to the dyno and hook everything up. The car's taking all the abuse. So the car is still, uh, it still has the passenger seat in. I put that back in. Still stock turbo. Uh, catless downpipe and that's that. There is no cat back on the car. It just sounds really badass with the knot. And that's it. So I'm going to see if I can get this tuned, guys. I'll keep you guys updated. And then uh, I'll show you guys the numbers and the progress that I'm making. And then, and this was the first pull. So that way you guys can just see. Oh, come on. It doesn't want to focus, but uh, so far it's sitting at 432 and 537 pounds of torque. Um, I gotta check the timing. I'm pretty sure that's still low timing, but we'll figure this all out and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, we are sitting at uh, 445 and 546 torque. This is on 93 with a stage two, so down, just down pipe only, um, holding out 20 PSI across. A little bit less timing just due to the higher boost up top, but uh, just to be safe, um, on 93, this is probably right where I will keep it at. Um, I'll show you guys the graph when I get out of the car. Um, on Mustang numbers, this made 378, 465 on a Mustang um, dyno. This is a Mustang dyno, but the WCF is uh, estimated as a Dynajet. So we do have the Mustang. We do have Dynajet estimate. Um, I don't care what people say. Um, it's actually been pretty spot on. So I think we're gonna swap over to uh, E30, but can't do that yet because we still got a whole bunch of fuel in the tank, which kind of sucks. All right, guys, so this right now is showing Mustang numbers as we are on the Mustang um, Dino. Uh, the stock, 100% stock Supra made 279, 333. Um, my 93 tune stage two, with just a downpipe, guys, um, you can see the big difference between it. Um, did do two pulls. We came out to about 377 and 449 torque. So with just a downpipe and a 93 tune, as you guys can see, you're pretty much looking at about 100, about 115 horse uh, torque difference, 115 torque difference um, with just the tune and downpipe uh, from stock and then power wise we're looking maybe at almost 98 to 100 horsepower more uh, power with just a downpipe and 93 tune um, I will do the same comparison when I do the e30 tune and stuff like that but this is the tune works pretty well 
no check engine lights, nothing like that. And for those that are looking for a Dynajet estimate, we have the Dynajet estimates right here, which is 328, 389, completely stock Supra, um, which other Dynajets have made pretty similar. Um, and then the tune gives it 443 horsepower and 527 torque. So guys, at the current moment, I am doing pulls, trying to get the fuel level down. I filled up with way too much, 93. So I'm having to sit here and do a couple pulls, fill up with the five gallon jug. So every like other two pulls, I pour some more e, uh, E85 in to make it an E30 mix while dialing, dialing the tune. So. Hopefully by the time we do get to that E30 mix, we can um, already have a done map. Um, it's already taking the extra timing and everything, so we'll see how everything turns out. I had to make some more adjustments, and we'll see how it goes. So we are still currently di uh, dialing in the car. Um, I am starting to feel the car misfire up top. It still has the stock spark plugs uh, for the last 2,500 miles, so I need to replace those and change the oil because I haven't, and this car has been getting abused daily. Um, right now, um, with just the map adjustments, uh, slowly still working in E30. I'm probably at like E20 right now. Uh, we're sitting at 468. 561 and then Mustang we're sitting at 400 just to give you guys a uh, stock one on this dyno makes 275 ish on this dyno a completely stock one it's now making 398 almost 400 on this dyno um, we're still dialing it in maybe like two or three more maps and we should have it good to go uh, getting a little bit of blow up blow out up top um, like I said, stock plugs, 2,500. Um, we're sitting at 474, 573 right now. Um, I'm still trying to pour. I only got like half of a tank of a five gallon jug, so it's not exactly at 830 yet, but we will see how this pull does. <laughs> up guys um like i said there's still a little bit of blowout up top um still a teen there's still a little bit of more timing left in the groove also yeah see it's a little bumpy right here um where the blowout's happening Alrighty, guys i know it's kind of a little dark but i am currently at the track um as you guys can tell i had to get off the dyno a little bit early um i feel like the car needs spark plugs a little bit and an oil change. Um, so now I am currently at the track. My first pass was 11-1 uh, at 123, which I've already got an 11-1 before, but I never got 123 trap. But that also was with a 163 60 foot. And my best 60 foot has been a 152. So if I can get that tonight, maybe, maybe I'll get into the tins. Um, I just ran. On my second pass, I, uh, was 11.0 at 124 with a 1.62 60 foot. So I know with a 1.5 60 foot, I should be able to get into the tens. Um, I'm hoping, and I'll keep you guys updated. 